Hello there guys and welcome to Star Wars Comics. Yesterday we watched how Vader was almost killed by an ad ad walker that was operated by Han and Leia. Meanwhile, Luke did his best to escape the Sith Lord and save as many slaves as possible. However, nothing could stop Vader from defeating these pesky rebels and having his revenge for the Death Star's destruction. Blaster Fire was doing nothing to the heavy armor of the AT-AT. Both sides were doing as much killing as they could, and worst of all, Vader was approaching the battlefield. Han was getting the hang of things as he shot an approaching TIE fighter. When they needed it, they had intentionally hit the Falcon on the trash fields outside of the battle area. An armada was going up against Han and his walker, ATSTs, assault tanks, and even combat speeders. All that was missing was another Death Star, according to Han. Now he started calling upon Luke to get his behind quickly to their position and help out with ground assault. He was on his way with two stormtroopers right behind him chasing and shooting at him. In a sudden move, Luke evaded one of them as he crashed on the Adad -Ad Walker's leg and the other, well, his speeder bike got a lightsaber treatment as the back motor was separated and the bike exploded hitting the Adad -Ad Walker. He had finally freed himself. Luke was doing well, although it soon wouldn't matter. Vader was finally there. He told Agadine to send every troop to his location. The rebels cannot escape as he ignited his red blade and swinged at the bottom leg of the walker. This led Han and Leia to be shocked. What was that? Luke on the other end was handling the Imperial machines, but Vader was relentless. He was just smacking down that AT-AT hit after hit. Leia confirmed it. It was Vader, all right. Han could not believe it. How many times does he have to kill this guy? Luke saw him as well. They pleaded him to stay back, but no. Vader had already done the damage. He dismantled the entire AT-AT walker, and both Han and Leia were now going down. Vader's order was simple. Move in for the kill. Now Luke had to rush to save his friends. He slashed at every stormtrooper around while Leia was holding Han and trying to run for the trash fields, hoping they could get to the Falcon fast. At this point, the slaves meant nothing to Vader. All he wanted was the rebels. Luke did a good job covering for his friends and they were helplessly trying to escape. Leia was yelling at Luke to come with them quickly, but Luke, however, had to finish this through. The factory had to be destroyed one way or another and he will make sure of that. He told Leia to not wait for him as he went full speed towards the factory. Vader told the squad to go after the others. He will handle the rebel headed for the factory. Using the force, he removed a stormtrooper from the combat speeder and quickly Luke realized that someone was behind him. It was his nemesis, Vader. The boy would not escape again. Vader chased Skywalker into the facility, but Luke, however, managed to do the one thing they set out to do. He destroyed the power core. He did this with his speeder bike, leaving the whole facility in shambles. As he was about to escape, however, Vader was not about to let him get away so easily. He still managed to hit Luke's speeder, and in that moment, Luke gave up. He was sure that this was the end of the line for him. He didn't count on his friends. Leia and Chewie quickly picked him up and took him aboard the Millennium Falcon. Han was not feeling so good, but as they were leaving Simon, three Star Destroyers were right there waiting for them. It felt that the end was near for Leia and the others aboard the Falcon, especially since the hyperdrive wasn't working. Leia was constantly haggling Chewie to speed it up, but by that time, it was all or nothing. She just had to try one last time. As the Star Destroyers were closing in, Chewie had fixed it. Leia was finally able to escape, jumping into light speed and escaping the dreadful empire. Coming out of the rubble, Vader slowly was overcome by anger and frustration. Once again, the rebels had escaped his grasp. Not only did they escape him, but escaped Captain Kron, who was supposed to fully blockade the moon and stop anyone from leaving. Now, the captain had to inform Lord Vader of what had just transpired. 
He talked and talked, tried to make excuses, but even though he was way up there inside a Star Destroyer, Vader's power was inescapable. Meanwhile, aboard the Millennium Falcon, Leia saw a sad Luke try to pick up his spirit, but something more profound was happening to young Skywalker. He realized that he escaped with his life. He should be dead. They all should be dead. Vader was right, said Luke. I am no Jedi, and with Ben Kenobi dead, he will never be. Not realizing that back on his home planet where Kenobi lived, something special was waiting for him on his mentor's home. Naturally, he will go back there and pick up Kenobi's journal left for him in future issues, but that's a story for another day, and that is it for this comic issue. This was Star Wars comic issue number 3, released in 2015. Hope you enjoyed all of this, and what are your thoughts on it? Feel free to leave anything you want to say down below in the comment section. You can clearly see how much of a negative impact that Vader had left on Luke. If it wasn't for his friends and mentors, it would have been really hard for Luke to continue continue his Jedi journey. Glad that it didn't go that way and we saw what we saw in Empire Strikes Back where he achieves what he ultimately wanted. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day my friends and may the force be with you always.